Good morning, guys. Um, so I just got out of my uh, OCHEM lab, which went surprisingly well, actually. Um, my instructor, he is a chem tutor that we all know and absolutely love. Uh, he's awesome. He's very chill, very down to earth. And then, and then yeah, so I'm excited. I think this OCHEM lab is going to be awesome. I think it's going to be fantastic especially since we're all nervous and you can just feel the tension in that class so some other great news that i received uh was well okay so i work um with a professor here um and it uh it revolves around uh red-eyed tree frogs so we get to just uh do research on those frogs and then see how everything progresses and as i was coming up to my car i walked into my professor and she notified me that um the adult frogs that we will be receiving will be coming sometime early february so um that is when the research will start to pick up and um we'll be able to have more like hands-on contact with the frogs and everything um because the frogs that we have now they're very tiny they're not fully developed um they're at the stage where we don't even know the sex of the frog so we would have to wait a long time for um to start any research on those frogs so instead we have um adult frogs that are coming in and we'll be conducting the research on those instead um this is where my inner nerd comes out because those frogs if you google it google it right now red-eyed tree frogs I'll wait. Or you can just pause the video and then come back. But I think I'll just wait for a little bit. Cute, huh? They're really cute. So if you Googled them, they are the cutest thing ever. Um, you can notify them by their huge bulging red, red eyes. Um, yeah, so <laughs> they're ad adorable. So the ones that we have here in um, the vivarium at CSUN, um, like I said, they're tiny, you know, they're like just in your hand and they just jump all the time. And yeah, so we're, I'm excited. Um, we're all really excited. So if you keep watching these vlogs, you will, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the research that I'm doing with the frogs. And to be honest, like I said, they're really cute. I never thought I would like frogs, but oh my God, it's like... Shia LaBeouf cute, if you're into that kind of thing. Look guys, I found my new folder. So, apparently Justin Bieber was arrested. And if you haven't seen his mugshot, I will uh, put a link in the description box and I really suggest that you pause this video right now to go look at that picture because well he looks like he's having the time of his life really because he's arrested I'm speechless I don't really know what to say oh man kids these days so I don't know if this happens to a lot of you um, maybe not but I just get very anxious when I think about all the books that I haven't read um, I'm not talking about like textbooks or like assigned reading or anything but just um, books that you would normally read just for pleasure sorry um, but yeah just like everyday books that you would want to read um, and what, what makes it worse is when I think that maybe I won't be able to read every single book on my list ever. And I don't know, it just it bugs me out sometimes. And because of this, um, I'm more likely to just stop reading a book that I feel I'm not getting into, that I don't really like. And I don't know, I don't normally condone this behavior, but um, I don't know, life's too short sometimes, and I feel that 
if you're not enjoying a book at all or anything, just don't do it. Why waste more of your time? Just do something else. Read another book. Um, but yeah, I don't know. As a kid, I was always so adamant about finishing the book no matter what. Um, I was. I would always say, oh, no, it's going to get better, it's going to get better, and then shit did not get better. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Now I just... If I, I don't know, if I'm just not liking a book, I'll put it down. I'll pick something up. Maybe later on I'll go back to that other book that I put down, but yeah, I don't know. That's just, that's just what I think now. I don't know. Let me know if you disagree, because I, I, there are some books that I would have loved to put down, but I'm so thankful that I didn't. Like, um, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I think the first hundred pages are just really hard to get through but after that like the whole series is absolutely amazing um it's definitely one of my top series um and yeah so i don't know i, I have mixed like feels about it but let me know what you think so um because i had uh, an 8 a.m class today i had to get get up really early um i edited the the vlog, yesterday's vlog, no wait, yesterday's, the vlog before this one, the vlog before this one, um, I edited that one late at night, and then uploaded it this morning, so I had to get up early, um, and I didn't sleep much, I'm so pretty tired, so I'm gonna take a nap now, um, and then get up for my five o'clock class, um, my OCHEM class, and then um, we'll go on from there. Um, but I will. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, <laughs> okay. Good night for now. A small nap, a little nap. You know that feeling when you wake up from a nap and you don't even know your name, you don't even know where you are. You're just like. right now. Okay, time to get up. Maybe not, just 10 more minutes. So one thing I've realized from Ochem is that um, I can't draw a perfect hexagon to save my life. My hexagons are completely out of shape, um, which is really sad, honestly, but um, I'm hoping that I am not parked on this floor. Where is my car? Am I on the third floor? What floor is this? I am definitely on the fourth floor. <laughs> but, as I was saying, I can't draw hexagons to save my life. <sighs> A stupid shape. Oh yeah, look at those hexagons. Look at how, oh, oh my god. It, I'm not even, I go, I can't. So I'm curious as to if there's ever a way to take off your sweater, like in a smooth, orderly fashion. Like for me, like, okay, you take off my glasses, which like, okay, and then I don't know if you guys can see me, but like, like, I gotta pull this one, and then, and then by that time my hair is like, just doesn't even work anymore, and then, like, it's, there are so many steps just to take off a sweater. Okay guys, so um, again, we are approaching the end of the vlog. Um, just wanted to say that in doing these daily videos, um, I realized before time that eventually, you know, things just happen in life. Um, it's never anything that we can control. 
Um, so, so yeah. one thing that I promised myself is that I would always be honest um, with not just you guys, but with myself and uh, these videos. That's probably one of the things that I wanted to focus on because I want to be able to look back at these and be like, yeah, that was 100% true, you know, I did this and that and that. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, some things just happen. It is what it is. Um, it's a sad reality of life, but the best thing that we can do is just be strong and, you know, tomorrow will be a better day. Um, but don't let those things, the unavoidable things that get you down, um, because there's no point really. I've realized that, like I said, things happen. Um, some for the best, some just that's life. So uh, no matter what, just stay strong. Um, focus on what it is that makes you happy in life. And um, that's probably one of the, well, that's probably like one of the best things I could say as of right now but um yeah well guys um i'm sorry i brought the mood down of these videos or of, of this video i didn't mean for that to happen but um i'm gonna take my own advice and i'm just gonna hope that tomorrow is a better day um whatever happens happens Okay, I refuse to end the vlog on a sad note, so um, I'm going to tell you a funny story. So, in high school, um, I had a sleepover with uh, a bunch of friends that I uh, played basketball with, and um, we decided to TP someone's house. I'm sorry. It was childish, and... What's what you do in high school? I'm sorry. I put it past me. But, um, yeah, so we TP someone's house, and um, one particular person was wearing a skirt at the time of the initial TP. Um, so we finished cheaping the house, and <laughs> so we were, were running away, right? We get to the car. And, um, we look back and the, that person who's wearing a skirt is not there. And we're like, what, where, where is this person? We turn back and this person is just on the floor. She fell. Um, just, she fell. And, um, so... We got to the car, we went back to the house, and her knee was just a mess. A mess. Just So, I guess the moral of the story, if you want to take anything from it, is do not wear skirts when you're doing just teenage stuff, I guess. At least when you're teeping a house. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm smiling again. I think this is this is good. So, good night, guys.